we've all had that experience where you've exited the off-ramp too quickly or the turn got tighter than you expected. Curve control can reduce the engine power and provide smart four-wheel braking to bring the vehicle speed down to a level that allows you to negotiate that curve. Ford researchers have found that approximately 50,000 accidents in the U.S. alone can be attributed to excessive speed while negotiating a curve. Curve control will be standard on the new Explorer and will be on 90% of our North American crossovers, SUVs, vans, and pickups by 2015. It will be a simulated off-ramp. Um, we're going to go to the far side of the, the pad here, accelerate up to about 50, 52 miles per hour, which will be too fast for the, the curve for the cones that we set up. We'll do the first run system off. I'm not going to touch the brakes or accelerator pedal as we're going through the curve. I'll just turn the, the steering and try to follow the, the path. And you'll see that we slide out past and through the cones. Then I'll do it, go back, do another run with curve control turned on. And you'll feel the, the braking slow us down through the curve. And we won't slide through the cones. We'll just follow right along where I'm trying to make the vehicle go. So is the main difference with the system compared to what we've had with ESC and RSC for the last 10 years, that just that you're braking much more aggressively when you detect this kind of scenario? Yeah, so we're braking more aggressively. We're braking on all four wheels at the same time with the intent of slowing the vehicle down, not just helping it turn in or helping it be stabilized, but we're actually trying to slow the vehicle down. So the, the traditional ESC will typically brake on probably the inner rear wheel when it, when it sees the vehicle isn't turning as much as you want it to. That'll help you point in a little bit, but it won't really slow you down. Right. enough if you're going way too fast. So the RSC sensor includes um, accelerations forward to the side, up and down. It measures uh, the roll rate, it measures the yaw rate in the, um, I guess in the ground plane, how fast we're turning. Uh -huh. um, so all the usual inertial sensors that you have as part of stability control plus the vertical motion and the, uh, and and the, the, roll. the, roll, the body roll. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Four, you're ready to make a run, guys. Okay, so we are going to accelerate up to about 50, 52 miles per hour. System on. Turn in. There we go, right through the cones. You felt this hit one of them there. So we're going to do the same thing, accelerate up to about 50, 52 miles per hour. There we go.